Good morning, girl. We are having a great morning. As y'all can see, we're having a productive morning and you guys are spending the rest of the morning with me. I don't know why it's so exciting, but I definitely, definitely, definitely am in my productive girl routine, being productive, getting the things done, getting my life together. <sighs> I feel good, God is good, and all the things. Like, I feel so good. We got a lot of things done already, woke up, struggle girl <laughs> made up our bed make up the bed girl make it up it makes a difference trust me and then we went and got ready for the gym so that is what we're about to do next that is the next thing on our to-do list and then when we come back home we're gonna do our devotions we're gonna get some work done and we're gonna be productive oh and we're gonna do our skincare routine <laughs> I'm so excited yeah this is just basically a productive morning in my life so usually like when I'm headed to the gym because I don't do my devotions usually until after the gym because if I don't go right away baby <laughs> Sleep. so I find it works best for me to just like you know thank God in the morning while I get ready to go to the gym when I wake up when I open up my eyes you know pray send a little prayer and then when I come back home do my devotions and like really spend some time you know what I mean so if you enjoy content like this definitely like comment and subscribe I'm your girl I am your girl she's not a perfect girl but she's a progressing girl and yeah if you want to come along on my journey of productivity my journey of lifestyle faith I'm basically here to share my life and hope that it inspires you so girl let's go <laughs> let's go with the workout because I am in a caloric deficit right now I'm trying to lose um, a couple of pounds <laughs> we have to end with cardio sprints so I'm about to go on the treadmill and I do intervals yeah I do like about four sprints I'm tired but honestly blogging this experience like even if you don't post it I think like vlogging your experience, it definitely like motivates you. It's like, okay, I got accountability now. We're gonna get it done. Like I feel like y'all are really holding me accountable and I love that. Yeah, so y'all gonna hear a little bit more about, oh my goodness, I have some dirt on my, oh no. I got some dirt. I don't know if y'all could see it. I think it was from the dumbbells, but anyway, girl, you gotta wash, but 
What was I saying? Oh Lord, I'm tired. <laughs> In the next weekly vlog, which is probably going to come. No, another special video is coming out after this one. Can y'all guess what it is? But I'm gonna start working on now the vlog that's actually gonna come out after this one. So y'all stay tuned for that. Ah, we're being productive and all the things. I know, I know, I know. After that vlog, then it'll be a weekly vlog. Just basically like a lifestyle update. Where I'm at, what I'm doing. But y'all, your girl feels so good. Ah, I feel like, I feel like I'm doing this thing because I am doing this thing. We're up early. Y'all, it was raining this morning, so you know. Girl. <laughs> It'd be tough to get up out of bed when it's raining. But the sun is out now, and it is a beautiful morning. So I'm about to start the treadmill, y'all. <laughs> we're, we're doing it. I usually start out with walking for like about a minute, and then like I said, I go into my interval sprints. So we're about to go and do that now. And then we'll be all done with the gym. So that is ticked off of our morning to do this, girl. Let's go. fresh juice real juice and of course y'all already know if you guys watched the productivity vlog i think it was um it's from fitfinity support your local business girls that tastes so good y'all this week i got two carrot i got two greens and one watermelon juice ah! it's been so good the carrot this week she said it would hit different and it does so uh, let's taste it together Currently right now, I'm on a detox, so I am not eating until 6 p.m. And girl is doing my body right. <laughs> it's not for a long time, but you know, we gotta do what we gotta do to kickstart some things. This is technically breakfast. This is how we're starting our morning. Too good. <laughs> All right, you guys, we have made it out of the shower. And the next productive thing that we're gonna do is wash our face. Clean our face. Do not neglect your face. I don't care if it's a three-step routine, a five-step routine, girl, clean that face. That's definitely important to me because <laughs> your girls have problematic skin. I still deal with like hormonal breakouts and those kind of things. So I definitely like, the routine can't be up and down. <laughs> like the routine has to be consistent. And this is one thing that I can't say like I do do because girl, <laughs> mm, yeah. But the face is like really doing really well right now. I just have like a few like little dark marks, but honestly like the face is glowing. The face is on 10. Let's start off with cleansing first. She's almost gone. She's basically out of here. Clearly, I love her a lot. Like, I really do love her. She is a staple. She will never be going anywhere. No matter how much skincare products I use, she will never not be in the rotation. <laughs> no. So this is the La Roche Posay for normal to oily skin. Tolerant, purifying, foaming cleanser. Dermatologist tested. I usually use this in the morning time. So I usually use this for my nighttime skincare routine. The CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser for normal to oily skin. Cleanses and removes oil without disrupting the protective skin barrier with three essential ceramides, niacinamide, and hyaluronic acid. And let's talk about it. If you're in your skincare era, these are worth it. Like, I know you may say, girl, you're doing too much. The feeling of the water, like why am I drowning in water? Like why did I just come out of the shower to bathe again? <laughs> Basically, like no. So we're all ready to do our skincare. I 
cleanse my face for one minute. So I did 30 seconds using my hands and now I'm gonna do the last 30 seconds using this. I got this off of Amazon. It's supposed to be like a, the Filio dupe. I think it's called the Filio. I don't know, but it usually like takes the foam away and <laughs> if I don't see the foam, then I feel like my face isn't washed. So that's why I don't start out with this, but I end with this. So we're about to go in with this and it has three different modes. So you have low, fast, and really fast. I usually stick to mode one, so that's what we're about to do. And this just basically helps to get an even deeper clean for your face. So after this, my face feels fully washed. My girls with problematic skin, stand up. I don't know if y'all remember those electric facial brushes that had the actual bristles. Mm -mm. I could never use it because it's too harsh for my face. And with this, you barely feel it and it's silicone. I have not used a towel on my face in maybe from 2020 when I found out about like, cause my skin was going through it in 2020 and I was researching all the things because I was like, oh no. Oh no, what is happening? I stopped using face towels and I only use hand towels. I see some people recommend the Amazon face towels that are disposable. So maybe I'll try those. But if you don't have them, like me, a good hand towel won't hurt. She's all dry, she's all clean. Do y'all see? Starting off the morning looking very clean. This next product, when I tell y'all, I started using this in April and I saw a significant difference in the quality of my skin and the glowiness of my skin with the discoloration, all of the things, like even with acne or like with hormonal acne, y'all, this is the plug and it is super expensive. It's pricey, but sometimes you gotta pay the price to get it right. I picked this up from Sephora. I'm not sure if they carry these in Ulta, but on the box it actually says Sephora exclusive. So this is the Dr. Dennis Gross Extra Strength Daily Peel. If you watched the, which vlog was that? It was an earlier vlog when I was in Florida. My skin now is like thriving. It's thriving, like it may not be perfect, but it's right, like it's thriving. Like I feel like I'm going from within right now, and I don't even have any products on at all. And don't forget, things are a process. I started using this the end of April. It is now October. So, girl, if you're struggling with skin, give this a try because my skin it was crying. But this literally like changed the game for my skin because the products that I'm about to show you like these have been on rotation except for maybe one or two but when I introduced this into my skincare routine it literally now said Dr. Dennis Gross you did that I must say like you did and I will spend my coins again when this is at me. It has 30 treatments plus five bonus treatments. Thank you, Sephora. Thank you, Dr. Dennis Gross, because these are expensive. Yeah, so it's the Alpha Beta Peel. And I decided to go with this instead of doing like a harsh chemical peel because I was honestly too scared to do it. So these are tea. Maybe I'll do a chemical peel, maybe sometime next year, but for as for now, like my skin is doing like pretty good. It's a two-step patented peel. This is how the Dr. Dennis Gross peels look. This is number one, and this is number two. So for number one, you have to actually wait after you put it on your face for two minutes before you use number two. And then you wait before you put anything else on your face. I don't know if you guys have any questions about it, but it's not strong. At least for me, it isn't. I don't do it all over because what I found is that if I do it here, like close to the corners of my mouth, I would wake up with it dry and even like around my nose. So I only do it on the areas like that are problematic to my skin or where acne comes or where I have dark marks. Just like that, and step one is done. Are done with our two step and the skin is feeling chef's kiss already and next we have this little number 
just to bring some hydration to the face. If you don't know what this is, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I bought it when it was hype in I think 2020 or 2021. Yeah, it just really helps with hydration. And it does give you a glow, like to be fair. Something new that I've actually started implementing in my skincare routine is actually waiting. If you want your serums, if you want the things that you have on your face to really like do the work that it's supposed to do and sit on your face properly, you're really supposed to wait at least like a minute, two minutes. I don't have a personal handheld fan. I just sit here and wait until it's dry. <laughs> I go in with that and I go in with a few other serums, my moisturizer, and my sunscreen. Girl doesn't have an Amazon storefront yet, but as we grow, I'm pretty sure that we will get one soon. But I'll still go ahead and link the products that I've used if I can find them on Amazon um, because I bought some of these in Sephora and Ulta. So I'll definitely do that for you guys for this video. Yes, honey. So the next thing that we're about to do is put on some clothes and if you're like me and you stay at home to do any kind of work or like you're at home any day out of the week do this because that will get you up out of bed that will make you feel motivated it will make you feel like you're going somewhere so that's what we're gonna do and it's such a gloomy day today and i can't stay in this room <laughs> Cause we got things to do i'm gonna put on a little cute comfy but cute because we about to be inside for the rest of the day girl are you still in your pajamas if you want to be productive get out the robe get out of the pajamas get out of the bed girl are you still in bed still get up are you guys ready for the OOTD? Let me put y'all down a little lower so y'all can see. So this is what we're wearing to work from home today. So we have the white bodysuit and then I just paired it with these little cute flared pants. Y'all know the vibes. If you know, you know. Literally so comfortable. This bodysuit is so comfortable. Everything is just real comfy, real chill. We're working from home, but we're still cute. We're growing. How about my Apple Watch because I need to track my things to keep me motivated. So this is what we're wearing today to work from home. I still have in my little everyday earrings and like I said, just my Apple watch and we're ready to do our devotions and officially start the day. It's definitely giving I'm a productive girl. My favorite part of a productive morning and this is something that we gotta do, like we must do. If you're a believer and you love Jesus, you're a Christian, you follow Jesus, you obey his word, we gotta be able to know his word. And then we have to know his word in order to know him, to know his character, to know who he is. And I feel like if you're missing this out of your morning routine, if you're missing this out of your daily routine, like if it's not a part of your routine at all, just try it, just try it. You don't gotta do too much, just start like little steps day by day. If you're not prepared for a devotional yet download the bible app and they have like a verse of the day read that meditate on that just start from scratch just how we're creating this consistent routine and we're starting you know what feels like from the ground up with like implementing new things it's important to do that like with your relationship with god too even if you don't have a relationship with god trust me when i say he's changed my entire life literally he has so I have a virtual devotional that I'm currently on right now. This devotional is just so good. Like it's feeding my soul. It's reminding me of things that girls sometimes we need to be reminded of. And it's on the Bible app. And then I also have a physical devotional that I kind of alternate between the two. A physical devotional, I think I've showed y'all this before. It is the 100 days of believing bigger. It's a devotional journal. So my girls that like to journal, my girls that, you know, are starting out, 
with an emotional i think this is really good it's a really good resource the way i sequence my spending time with god depending on if i have five minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes 30 minutes whatever you got in the morning to give him i start off with devotions and then i go i listen to some praise and worship music just to you know really just give thanks and then i end with a prayer so the devotional says trust in god and i'm just going to read just a little snippet of it to y'all if that's okay If you struggle with anxiety, read this. Read this devotional. So at the ending it says, while God may use the resources of this world to help us, ultimately victory over our problems come from him. Whether he gives us a resolution or the grace to endure, we can trust that he'll be to us all that he says he is. We don't have to be overwhelmed by our troubles, but we can face them with his hope and peace. So let's pray together because this one actually comes with the prayer as well. So I think it's really good if you're new to the faith to do this devotional as well. Because I love the devotional so I come with like a little prayer at the end. So it says, Heavenly Father, give me the courage to trust in you. Help me to believe that you're all that you promise to be. Amen. It was too, too good. Just like that, we've done our devotions. So I'm going to go and play some worship music before all of the craziness starts to happen before all of the thoughts start to run rampant in your mind sometimes that's what we need not sometimes but all the time that's what we need to start our day i know sometimes we may have such hectic lives and all the things to get done and all the things to do but don't be too busy for the god that will literally help to lift your burden throughout the entire day i'm just gonna listen to some worship music girl <laughs> the worship music have been tearing me up I've been tearing me up. Hey girl, the last thing that we have to do before our morning routine is all done is not only write our to-do list, but I've been in a practice lately of before writing all of the things that I need to do, all of the things that I need to get done in the day, I need to first write what I'm grateful for. So that is what I begin my to-do list with, just reminding myself, what am I grateful for today? What can I focus on in the midst of all of the busyness to remind myself that despite of all of the things you have to get done, you can still be grateful. And after we have our focus point for the day of what we're going to be grateful for, now we got to get to work, write down our to-do list, and try to get as many things done as you can. Give yourself grace, but try your hardest to get everything that you need to get done, done definitely been a productive morning if i do say so myself and the thing is you could do it too why not like we could all do this together like let's be productive together we are all done with our productive morning vlog i hope that you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you want to follow along the journey and if you're interested in these kind of things like being productive growing in your faith getting things done getting your health in order getting your body getting your soul getting your mind just to do life with somebody on the other side of the screen like if you're interested in that don't forget to subscribe and let me know what you guys thought about this video i hope that you guys have an amazing morning tomorrow or whenever you're watching this let's get up let's do the thing let's implement routines i believe in you bye